preparing for your dental hygiene school interview. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Brush with Brit channel. I am going to go over a few tips and tricks for your dental hygiene school interview. I actually didn't have one, but I have gathered a ton of information and I wanna give you my insights and advice on how I would go about doing a dental hygiene interview. When it comes to the interviewing process, it depends on the program. Some programs give points out for certain things, so it can be like, being a registered dental assistant or having experience in dentistry. It can also be your HESI scores or your grades from your prerequisites. It really is different from every program. But when you go into your interviews, this is a part that you are able to practice and perfect. You can look up so many different resources for getting better at answering your interviewing questions. Make sure when you are going into these interviews that you are well dressed, you are well put together, your phone is on silent, you're sitting up straight, you're making eye contact you're okay with silent moments take some time to think to yourself it's okay to do that take a drink of water ask them to repeat the question but just know that this interview portion is a portion of the process where you can really prepare yourself the more you prepare yourself the less anxiety you will have we are going to start off with what you should wear. Arriving in business casual is always a good idea and if you invest in one outfit, you'll be able to reuse that same outfit for things like your interview when you go looking for a job. I personally always like to wear black just in case because if you're you know, having coffee or something like that and you spill on yourself, hopefully you'll be able to cover it up but black is something that I always wear to my interviews. It's just always worked for me so I would go in some slacks, a blazer, some closed toed shoes, whether you are comfortable in flats or heels. I tend to wear flats just because I'm more comfortable in that, but you could also wear heels if you like doing that too. I would wear minimal jewelry, so some earrings, maybe a couple of rings, but I wouldn't do too much with the jewelry because I don't want to distract from what I'm saying throughout my interview. The best way to prepare for your interview is to practice. I would also make sure that you get enough sleep the day before the interview and arrive early or scope out the place the day before so that you know exactly where you are going and how long it is gonna take you to get there. You can do some meditation and use essential oil to help alleviate some of that stress. There's a podcast called the Negotiate Anything Podcast and it is a really good place to learn about communication skills. And this is something that you can utilize for your interviews. It helps you understand the power of a pause. So learning that you don't always have to fill up the silence with saying things. So when you're doing your interviews, just understand that they are not looking for you to immediately answer things. You can take a second, breathe, and think about your answer. You can also ask them, can you repeat that question? And that will allow you more time to think about an answer. So don't be too quick to answer the questions. You can take some time and think about it. We're going to go over some of the common questions, but there are other ones out there that you can look up and at least practice your answers for those questions. One of the questions that they might ask you is, what does a dental hygienist do? And of course, we know that a dental hygienist scales, polish, flosses the teeth, and cleans teeth. But the hygienist is really a prevention specialist. We are a healthcare provider that specializes in educating your patients about disease before they occur. We're providing patients with oral hygiene instructions, nutrition counseling, and also screening. So we're doing things like oral cancer screenings, hypertension screenings, and airway evaluations. Hygienists are essential to healthcare because we play a huge role in prevention. We are also partners with the dentist. So we practice co-diagnosing, which means we help the dentist identify cavities and help them treatment plan and increase case acceptance. We're an essential role in dentistry, but also in healthcare. They will ask you, why did you want to become a dental hygienist? And of course, there are people that have stories of, you know, my dad is a dentist, my mom is a dentist, or I wanted to be a dentist since I was two years old. And if I were to be asked this question, I would be very honest and vulnerable and authentic and tell them that, you know, I didn't have a passion for teeth or want to be a hygienist since I was two years old. Uh, I was really driven to dental hygiene because I knew I could get a degree through community college. And one of my main goals is to become financially stable. And I don't have or didn't have a support system to help me through college. So community college was the route that I was going to take. And I decided to pick dental hygiene because I had a background as a dental assistant. And I am 
am determined and motivated to become a dental hygienist because I want to be financially stable. Although, you know, my driving force isn't wanting to be a dental hygienist since I was two years old, I have so much discipline and determination to make this happen that I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And I do have a passion for healthcare. I was looking into being a dental hygienist or being a nurse. I wanna take care of patients and I wanna help people along the way. And you know, that could have been where, wherever in healthcare and ultimately I chose dental hygiene. Of course, they're going to ask you your strengths and your weaknesses. And I think when it comes to strengths, especially if you haven't worked in dentistry, you can use your experience from any field. If you have been a server or a bartender or worked in the service industry, you can say that you have great communication skills and you know how to give patients or people a good experience because you've done that. You've worked in a service industry. You know how to greet people with a smile and make them feel good. That's just one example of how you can use whatever background you have and kind of flip it into dentistry, but you can do that with anything. If you have history of being a babysitter or taking care of children, you can say that you have passion for taking care of people. And part of that is in your experience being a babysitter and taking care of children. And you have really learned to adapt to the needs of others. You kind of just put a little twist on it and make it related to dentistry. When it comes to your weaknesses, I think one of my most favorite ones to say is that I have been very detail oriented, which of course is a great thing, but when it comes to dentistry, being so detail oriented can take up a lot of time. And that's the part that can be sort of a weakness when it comes to dentistry because we are always on a time crunch. So that's one of my most favorite ones to say because you're saying you're detail oriented, which is a good thing, um, but then you're kind of making it a weakness by saying it eats up a lot of time. And of course, one of the most favorites is the tell me about yourself. Again, another great time to maybe tell a story or give them a good background about yourself. I would always start with my history as a dental assistant and why I got into being a dental assistant and how I found out about dental hygiene and then me wanting to become a dental hygienist and highlight parts about you that are going to be applicable to the program. So things like being able to handle stress or being adaptable or having good communication skills. So maybe you talk about how you moved from one city to the other city and you were able to build a network of friends and practice good communication skills and you were adaptable because when you get into the dental hygiene program, you have to be able to adapt to all the different schedules that they give you, to different types of patients, to different learning skills that you're gonna go through. So you have to be very adaptable. You also have to be able to handle stress and a lot of it so you can use one of your background stories to show how you're able to handle stress and how you got through a difficult situation so that they see that you're a good candidate to get into the program what is your understanding of the time dedication for the dental hygiene program all the programs are slightly different and they vary my program the schedule changed every single semester and you never knew what your schedule was going to be and you really did have to be there monday through friday and studying on the weekends and your time dedication to the dental hygiene program is huge you pretty much have no time outside of dental hygiene school to do other things I was able to balance work with dental hygiene school. Did I do it well? No. Did I have some days where I had mental breakdowns? Yes. But I made it happen because I was determined to do that. But you really need to have a thorough understanding of how much time and dedication it is going to take to get through dental hygiene school. So when they ask you that question, just be prepared to tell them, you know, I've had conversations with my family and friends to tell them what I'm going to be going through for the next two years or however many months your program is. And I am prepared to give this hygiene program everything I have in order to pass and graduate and become a dental hygienist. You get so busy with the school, the, like the clinicals, the, the didactic portion, seeing patients, it's a lot to handle. And especially if you're working on top of that, they might ask you, you know, what are you doing outside of dental hygiene school? Are you gonna be working at the same time? Because I can't tell you how many people told me you cannot work and go to dental hygiene school. And for some people that's true. Um, you know, it, 
I think that it depends on the person. I don't think every single person is the same and what you can handle, I can handle. I think it is just, it's different across the board for everybody. And also our circumstances are so different. So I think that it is possible to get through dental hygiene school and work at the same time, but it really depends on you as an individual and what your circumstances are and how much stress you can handle at one time. They might ask you, do you have a plan B? And if they were to ask me that, I would say my plan, if I don't get into this dental hygiene program, I will reapply for next year. But I also have two other schools that I'm doing interviews for because I want to become a dental hygienist as soon as possible. So I am looking at three different schools as my top three choices and hoping to get into one of them. Um, if I don't get into any, then I will be reapplying for next year because I am dedicated to becoming a dental hygienist. How do you handle stress? And this is a huge one because dental hygiene schools do have dropout rates, which mean, you know, they may start with the X amount of people and then they end up with a lower amount. So for instance, my class started with 30, 36 and I think ultimately we ended up with 24, but then we picked up two other students from a previous class, so we ended up with 26. But in total, 12 students dropped out at some point throughout the program. And especially right now, there's a, such a shortage of dental hygienists that students really need to be graduating and schools have to make sure that they are keeping up with those graduation rates. So part of dental hygiene school is handling stress. A good way to answer this question of how you handle stress is to say that you handle it well because you are balanced and you're strategic with your scheduling. You already have a calendar, you're ready to plan everything out. If you are balancing work, you know, tell them that you have it in a schedule and you're going to be very strategic with your studying, with your classes, with work and self-care. And also you can even throw in there that you are planning on taking care of your mental health by doing things like self-care, whether that be taking a bath or going for a walk and also your physical health. So let them know that you have planned out days for going for a walk. It doesn't have to mean that you are going to, you know, do this big workout or anything like that, but just showing them that you already have it in your mind that you are going to be so planned out, organized and very planned out will give them confidence that you will be able to make it through the dental hygiene program. All they are looking for is that you are confident and that you have the strength, the willpower and the discipline to get through the dental hygiene program. They want to see the confidence in you that you are able to handle stress and that you're able to adapt and think on your feet and answer the questions and be authentic and genuine. With some of these questions, I don't think that they're looking for specific answers. I think that they're just looking to get to know you and they want to see that you're going to be able to make it through the dental hygiene program. I am going to be linking the few videos that I watched about dental hygiene school interviews that are super helpful and I recommend watching. Good luck on your interview, prepare, practice, and I hope you get into the hygiene program of your choice. Much love from Brush with Brit.